Hey guys. In this video I'd like to show you my very first uh, bass guitar that I got in 2001 at Norm's Music on Kings Highway in Brooklyn. The store no longer exists there. It's been uh, relocated to Staten Island, merged with another music store. But anyway, this is my bass guitar that I got in 2001. It's a uh, D'Armond Pilot Bass. They don't make them anymore, so it's almost like a vintage instrument, if you will. It's made in Korea, crafted in Korea. Um, so let me go over some of the features. This bass cost me 200 bucks used. I think new it would have been around $300. It's your kind of PJ combination, except the pickups, the split pickup is kind of uh, opposite of what you find on your uh, Fender Precision Bass. This uh, side is closer to the neck, and this side is closer to the bridge. On the P bass, it's the opposite, and this is um, a jazz pickup. So these are kind of... Uh, I don't know what kind of pickups they are, but they're, it's, they kind of look like EMGs. It's also an active bass. It has a 9 volt battery in there. Oh, your tuners. They're pretty good, actually. You know, I never had any problems with these tuners. And um, in terms of this bass, I used it when I started recording my music on my computer. In 2001, using Cakewalk, overdubbing all different instruments, so this bass served me well. And then I used it in um, University Pep Band and made some money playing it. Played some more gigs, and when I started playing bass with my uh, band called Mobius, I initially used this bass, and then I realized I needed something better. And I got a Korean uh, 24 fret jazz bass, which you can find the video for in my channel. This bass also has, uh, instead of the regular 34 inch scale, it has a elongated 35 inch scale. It's neck heavy, not terribly, but still neck heavy. And uh, what I did to it recently, I don't believe uh, I don't remember maybe a couple years ago maybe last year as I decided to convert it to the low tuning the B tuning so the strings are D A E and B and for low tunings actually the long scale is preferred so it worked out very nicely I put on flat wound strings also I had some neck warping and uh, some frets were kind of you see the, the action is not exactly great but with flats it feels nice so let me go over the some of the features it's an active bass um, this is the pickup selector in this position I'm using the split pickup in this position if I turn the knob counterclockwise it engages the jazz pickup so you notice the hum because it's a single coil pickup in this uh, split pickup position there's no hum in the middle there's some hum okay now this is the volume knob this one sound and then there's your three band EQ this is the bass all of these um, EQ knobs have a notch in the middle so that you can find this you know middle kind of middle ground bass cranked bass removed mids cranked mids removed and 
and uh, treble. See, it's it's got enough treble, so it starts actually hissing and removed. And it's a very versatile bass. It's it is what it is. It it's not a you know U.S. made quality instrument, but it has really good sounds. It has a very powerful low end if needed. kind of difficult at first to transition from your regular tuning to this low tuning but I have uh, three other bass guitars in the regular tuning that I realized you know I thought why not have this in the low B tuning in case I ever need it for some metal or whatever and uh, I don't really I tried playing a five string bass, but it's just confusing to me. I, I prefer four strings. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the, it's got 22 frets. Yep. There's my German bass. In case you're curious, for a beginner intermediate kind of player, this instrument is very solid. You know, nothing went wrong with electronics so far in 17 years. It looks great. It's a solid piece of wood. Maybe, actually, I think there's, there's a middle kind of section that is different. So I think it's three pieces. I've dropped it so many times and uh, never cracked. It's not a veneer on top of some kind of composite it's just a solid piece of maple I guess or whatever the hell it is yeah oh and the stickers I that's from the old uh, non-existing uh, radio station Russian radio station that my friend used to work at and I just whatever they created it, it would be stickers also I forgot I I used this base um, in a company band at my job when I first started it. I work at the company called Metadata Solutions. MD Soul is the domain and the company name, right? There's MD Soul and the band name became MD Soul, like soul music. So if I also used it there, I, yeah, used it as a backup. There you go. Thanks guys.